Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this one we're looking at the Acer Swift 3 15.6 inch laptop, but this time it's not primarily for the laptop, it's actually what's going on inside. Now this laptop features an 8th generation Intel Core i5 quad-core processor and Intel Optane memory. Now if you're not sure what Optane memory is, don't worry, I'll be covering everything you need to know throughout the video. And then the aim of this video is to show you guys how you can use Intel Core processors with Optane memory to create a faster and more affordable PC that doesn't break the bank. Now this could be the perfect thing for anyone that wants to get into YouTube or any kind of creative idea really, even photography, editing, things like that, because the Optane memory allows you to do things so much faster. Obviously I'll explain in more detail how you go about this later on. So I just wanted to show you the specs that the Acer Swift 3 is running. As you can see there, it does have a 5400 RPM mechanical hard drive. Thanks to the Optane memory, that helps just kind of cache certain files and applications used the most to give you a wicked fast speed, which is just absolutely mind blowing. So together with Optane memory and then the Intel 8th gen processor in this Swift 3, I've been able to really kind of hone my workflow and get a lot of stuff done with the speed that I'd expect from my other laptop, which is just considering that I'm going from an SSD to this, which is a hard drive and then Optane memory, really can't tell the difference. Sometimes this is even faster than the other laptop as well, which is just remarkable. So what I'm gonna do now is just explain how Optane memory works. Then there's a little bit of my workflow in the background. So Optane memory works as a cache drive for your mechanical hard drives that you may have in your PC that run on a boot drive. So what this allows to do is it takes different data such as your metadata, your user data, and then access patterns, and then stores that onto the Optane memory. Then what that allows is it to use that Optane memory as a kind of quick go-to in terms of getting the basic files that it needs to then run or kind of operate a program, thus reducing the need to spin up the disk to find those essential files, whereas they're already readily available on the Optane memory. Now this is compatible by an M.2 slot or any Intel 200 series chips at motherboard, so that's the 7th generation Cable Lake or anything newer. Now you may be thinking, but how much does it really affect, you know, how fast I can get on and do things? So enabling Optane after the third boot, I got a speed of 9.84 seconds to go from the very first loading screen into the login screen. Disabling the drive on the third boot, I got 37.83 seconds. Yeah, isn't exactly what you want. So that just shows how much this Optane just, you know, benefits the system. And watching that mechanical drive just chug away like a kind of steam train that still needs some more coal. It's just so painful to watch. You can just instantly see the benefits that the Optane drive gives you. So obviously another aspect where I'm going to be spending a lot of time on my computer is when I do video work. Now another great benefit of having the Optane is you can go through and play back 4K files without any stuttering at all. And though you might not think so, there's an awful lot of takes that never make the cut out of my videos. And this is a, just a great way to go through and just get rid of those before I bring them into my project. Because that then cuts down on the time that I go through, you know, watching clips to find out I'm not even using them. Just saves a lot more time and effort in the end result just for going through them at the very start. So this is one of the great benefits of the memory. You can literally go between them so fast. Hardly any pause in between the clips there at all. And yet another thing that's actually faster than my SSD based computer. So once I've gone through all the files and seen exactly what I want, it's just a case of then dragging and dropping them into Premiere Pro and I can get to work on the edit. Now I was very pleased to find that 4K files played back in this just perfectly. It can be a little bit of a struggle for laptops to sometimes play back the 4Ks in Premiere Pro, but because we've got the 8th gen processor and then Optane memory on top of that, it just absolutely decimates and just you know makes such a superior and smooth workflow. Now following suit, importing the different files and the videos I use into my edits, is so fast and simple as well. And now there may be an occasion where I find myself editing and I need to quickly do a photo edit for somebody. Maybe I fancy doing an Instagram post or something quick like that. And then again, this is another thing that the Optane will help you with. You can multitask and use different apps simultaneously and have no issues or any freezing or anything of that nature. It just runs perfectly and it's an absolute dream to work with. There's one point I wanna to quickly touch upon before we move on to different parts of this video. And that's the fact that SSDs are a more affordable thing nowadays, but they still have quite a high price bracket in terms of how much storage you can get for the price. Now going about your storage this way in terms of using Optane memory and then a mechanical hard drive means you can have a much higher storage capacity than still retain speeds close to what an SSD would give you. So for example, in this machine, I've got a terabyte storage and then the Optane memory to give me that fast performance. So I've essentially got a much bigger capacity that you would get at a much higher price point. Now, of course, you do have an outlay for the Optane memory itself, but if you were to add, you know, a terabyte hard drive and then the Optane together, it would still be more expensive to get an SSD that could match that capacity, yet still give you the same speed. So in the terms of getting you some extra performance for, you know, not a lot of money considering what you would pay for an SSD of the same capacity, I think it's definitely a good way to go about it. 
Now, understandably, everyone's not going to be a creative that uses, you know, Adobe Suites and things like that. But even doing searches throughout your desktop and things like that, moving files across is just so fast. I just can't get over how quick it is. Now, the more common apps such as Spotify will also receive a speed boost. Definitely when you start it up, that's one of the most snappy things that loads. And then also if you're a gamer as well, you will get certain elements of games that will load faster than just on a normal hard drive. So if you think a combination of an Intel processor with Optane memory is going to be good for you, then I definitely recommend this laptop if you want to go for something portable. I've been using this for a little while now as my daily driver, and it's just been so good. It's so fast. I love the connectivity it's got, and the price is definitely a much more affordable than what I'd expect considering the features and connectivity that it offers. And as I mentioned before, having a terabyte of space as a creative person over a smaller amount but still retaining those speeds is an absolute win. And one thing this laptop does retain as well also is an SD card slot, which uh, <clears throat> some other companies don't have anymore. Definitely another pro in the Acer corner. But absolutely blown away with this laptop and then what the Intel processors and Optane memory just does. An absolutely superb combination. If you can try it yourself, I would definitely recommend it. And I'm really looking forward to putting it for its paces at IFA and see what it can really do. I hope you've all enjoyed this video and it's given you an insight that you don't always have to spend large amounts of money to get high performance, especially not where Intel is involved. You can go down the Optane route and maintain that performance, even with using mechanical drive. I'm still pretty mind blown by it now. And I hope you've all enjoyed watching this and seeing what they offer in terms of bang for your buck. Now, if you have any more questions about this product or you know anything to do with the Intel or the Optane, please do let me know in the comments box below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I understand you may have some more questions about this, so feel free to ask them down below and I'll get back to you. I will link the Acer Swift 3 in the description box below as well if you want to get one for yourself. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with what it offers. It's just an absolute great package. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Big thank you to everyone who supported the channel recently. We've come on leaps and bounds. And it's great to see all your support really driving this channel now and it's great to see it all rolling. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. Links will be in the description box below. A big thank you to Intel for providing me this laptop for you all to see just how Intel and Optane works. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.